getting ready to make elderberry jam and I do this a couple of different ways I used to do it with the berry pulp included and what happened is is once I got cancer it's just that stuff gets in my teeth and it kind of drives me crazy so here's a way um, to make it with just juice if you want the pulp in it I believe I've got that video online too and I'll link to it above if I do I believe I posted that last year or the year before anyway so I've got my canner ready to go this is a pressure canner but you can I'm going to actually use it as like a uh, water bath canner you want a pan this is kind of a deep pan um, basically it just needs to be big enough to hold what you're going to be putting in there this is four cups of elderberry juice that I processed through a steam juicer and you're going to need sugar, pectin, and lemon juice and I'll give those measurements in this recipe but this is all you need to get started this is elderberry juice added to a pan set on about a medium heat I'm letting it uh, warm up, heat up I'm now going to take a quarter cup of sugar it's actually four cups of elderberry juice so for for this I need to take a I'm sorry a half a cup of sugar and one packet of pectin and mix those together in a bowl and then once this is to a boil I'm going to add it to that I'm going to let that boil come to a rolling boil then I'm going to add another three cups of sugar to it and let that boil at a rolling boil for one minute then add it to the canning jars put the lids and seals on and then that right there will be the end of my elderberry jam this is my half cup of sugar and now for the pectin Gonna have to excuse my eggs over there because I just haven't got it cleaned up yet. It's just the way it is. So now I got this going at a boil, adding the sugar and the pectin. Get ready to add some butter to this because it almost always. Thumbs up. Also going to need three cups additional sugar. I'm gonna set this timer again for another minute. jars ready so what I want to do now is I want to let this get to a full one minute rolling boil as soon as it starts boiling go ahead and set the timer now
This is always the hardest part. Calling that good. Next step is to add it to your jars. And of course I spilled some on the countertop and forgot to hit record because everything is just so fast paced I forgot. But anyways that's all you got to do. You'll hear these pop as they seal up. It takes about 15-20 minutes. That's really all there is to it. And this makes elderberry jam. I like this over like toast, pancakes. My favorite is with Greek yogurt. Anyways, thanks for watching.